Have you ever looked at a flight path on a map and wondered why it curves instead of going straight? It seems counterintuitive, right? You might think that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, so why do planes often take these curved routes? You want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, so why take a detour? The answer isn't as simple as it seems. The answer lies in a fascinating mix of geography, physics, safety regulations, and a dash of history. The Earth is a sphere, and what looks like a straight line on a flat map is actually a curve when you consider the globe's curvature. In this exploration, we'll uncover the mysteries behind why planes often take these seemingly roundabout routes, particularly over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. For instance, flying over the poles can sometimes be shorter than flying around the equator. Buckle up and prepare for takeoff as we delve into the intriguing world of aviation and uncover the reasons why planes don't always fly in straight lines. From the jet streams that can speed up or slow down a flight, to avoiding hazardous weather conditions and restricted airspaces, there are many factors at play. So next time you see a curved flight path, you'll know there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Let's start with a fundamental fact. The Earth is a sphere, well, an oblate spheroid to be precise, but you get the idea. This might seem obvious, but it's crucial in understanding flight paths. If you plot a straight line on a flat map between two distant cities, it won't translate to the shortest distance on the Earth's curved surface. Imagine stretching a string between two points on a globe. That string represents the shortest distance, a curve known as a great circle route. That's the path planes try to follow to save time and fuel. Great circle routes are the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. These routes are essential for efficient travel, especially in aviation and maritime navigation. They might appear curved on a flat map, but in reality, they represent the most efficient way to travel across long distances. This is because the Earth is a sphere and the shortest path between two points on a sphere is not a straight line, but a curved one. Think of it like this. If you were an ant walking on a basketball, the shortest path between two points wouldn't be a straight line across the surface, but rather a curved path along the ball's circumference. This concept is the same for airplanes flying over the Earth. Airlines are well aware of this, and they program their flight paths to take advantage of these great circle routes. By doing so, they can save both time and fuel, which is crucial for the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of their operations. This is especially true for long-haul flights where the time and fuel savings can be significant. For instance, a flight from New York to Tokyo will follow a great circle route, often passing over the Arctic regions, rather than flying in a straight line across the map. This not only reduces the distance traveled, but also minimizes fuel consumption and flight time. Understanding great circle routes is not just important for pilots and navigators, but also for anyone interested in geography and how we travel around our planet. It highlights the fascinating interplay between geometry and real-world applications, showing how ancient principles still guide modern technology. So, next time you board a long-haul flight, remember that the curved path you see on the in-flight map is actually the shortest and most efficient route thanks to the principles of great circle navigation. The vastness of the Pacific Ocean presents a unique challenge for airlines. In the unlikely event of an emergency, such as engine failure or a medical situation, finding a suitable place to land quickly becomes paramount. Land or even a large island can be hundreds, if not thousands of miles away. Airlines and aviation authorities prioritize safety, and this factors heavily into route planning. While great circle routes over the Pacific might seem like the fastest option, they often take planes far from potential diversion airports, making them less desirable from a safety standpoint. Section 5. The Pacific's Fury Weather Woes for Air Travel The skies over the Pacific Ocean are often a battleground for pilots and airlines. The Pacific Ocean is notorious for its unpredictable and often severe weather patterns. These patterns can change rapidly, turning a calm flight into a turbulent journey in a matter of minutes. From powerful typhoons and cyclones to areas of heavy turbulence, flying over the Pacific can be a bumpy ride. Pilots must be prepared for sudden changes in weather that can cause significant turbulence. These weather systems can develop quickly and cover vast areas, posing significant challenges for airlines. The vast expanse of the Pacific means that storms can stretch for hundreds of miles, making it difficult to find a clear path. To ensure passenger safety and comfort, Airlines constantly monitor weather conditions and adjust their flight paths accordingly. Advanced weather tracking technology allows pilots to anticipate and navigate around severe weather. 
This might mean flying around storms, altering altitudes, or even delaying flights to wait for clearer skies. Pilots often have to make quick decisions to avoid the worst of the weather, ensuring the safety of everyone on board. These deviations from the most direct route add time and fuel costs, but safety remains the top priority. Delays and rerouting can be frustrating for passengers, but they are necessary to avoid dangerous weather conditions. The additional fuel costs and extended flight times are a small price to pay for ensuring that everyone reaches their destination safely. Section 6. Ghosts of War – How One Two Shaped Pacific Flight Paths The vastness of the Pacific Ocean, while a challenge today, was particularly daunting during World War II. The conflict spurred the development of long-range aircraft and established a network of air bases and refueling points across the Pacific. These wartime routes, dictated by strategic considerations, often involved island hopping rather than flying directly over the open ocean. Interestingly, some of these historical routes, established out of necessity during the war, continue to influence modern flight paths over the Pacific. Section 7. Keeping the Skies Safe Air Traffic Control and Pacific Routes Air Traffic Control, or ATC, plays a crucial role in ensuring the safe and efficient flow of aircraft around the globe. The Pacific Ocean, despite its vastness, is no exception. ATC sectors divide the airspace into manageable chunks, with controllers responsible for guiding aircraft within their designated areas. Due to the limited number of ATC stations in the Pacific, flight paths are often structured to stay within range of radar coverage and communication systems. This ensures that aircraft can maintain contact with controllers and receive timely instructions, enhancing safety and efficiency. Section 8 Island Hopping The Role of Strategic Fuel Stops Modern aircraft, while incredibly fuel-efficient, still have their limits. The sheer distance of trans-Pacific flights often requires strategic refueling stops. These stops, typically on islands or coastal cities, allow airlines to break up long flights into manageable legs ensuring that aircraft have enough fuel to reach their final destination safely. The availability of these refueling points, along with factors like airport infrastructure and operating costs, all play a role in shaping flight paths across the Pacific. Airlines carefully consider these logistical elements when planning their routes. The future of flight. Will we ever fly directly over the Pacific? As technology advances, we might see changes in how planes traverse the Pacific. New aircraft designs with increased range and fuel efficiency could potentially open up more direct routes. Improved communication and navigation systems might reduce reliance on ground-based ATC, allowing for more flexible flight paths. However, safety considerations, weather patterns, and economic factors will always play a role in route planning. While the future might hold exciting possibilities, the vastness and unpredictability of the Pacific Ocean will continue to pose unique challenges for aviation. So, it's not about avoiding the Pacific, it's about. The reasons behind those curved flight paths over the Pacific are complex and interconnected. It's not simply about avoiding the ocean, but rather a combination of factors. The Earth's curvature, safety regulations, weather patterns, historical precedents, air traffic control, and fuel efficiency. Airlines carefully consider all these elements to determine the safest, most efficient, and most practical routes for their flights. Next time you're on a plane and glance at the flight tracker, remember that there's more to those curved lines than meets the eye. It's a testament to the ingenuity of aviation, the complexities of our planet, and the unwavering commitment to safety that underpins every flight. So, sit back, relax, and appreciate the marvel of flight knowing that you're traveling along a path shaped by a fascinating interplay of science, history, and human ingenuity.